today I'm here with rehabilitation nurse, Mrs. Diane Bertha. Thank you for coming. Thank you. So what was your first job and how old were you? My first job was as a nurse's aide for Gaylord Hospital. I was 16 years old. I, I was a volunteer candy striper oh, okay. before that. And how did you get the job? Actually, I had gotten that through, um, well, because I was a volunteer um, at Masonic Care, and that was a help for me to actually, you know, get the job. But my mother also works, or okay. worked, had worked at Gaylord, too, okay. and it was close to my house. Oh, so there were no transportation issues? No transportation issues, yes. Okay. What was your first job what you expected? Yeah, I, I would say it was. Um, there was um, training on the job. It wasn't like a um, certified nurse's aid course as they have. You have to have right. that certification now. Um, so it was just a straight nurse's aid and learned on the job. And um, it was definitely a step up from just a volunteer job because it was more hands-on. What would you say is your most memorable experience? I would say one of my most memorable experiences is probably working with um, the people who had sustained a spinal cord injury, okay. probably the younger population, um, and just being able to be a friend with them, um, a support, and uh, certainly um, ease any thoughts of uh, grief that they okay. would initially have been going through in um, that trauma. You work with uh, rehab. Did you want to do that growing up? No, not necessarily. Um, I, for growing up or um, for college purposes, I really did not have becoming a nurse in my mind. I was, um, I had initially taken an aptitude test and I had a love of the outdoors um, and it ended up coming up like I would be a good farmer. <laughs> and I knew that it was not going to pay any bills down the road. So then I was interested, um, I became interested in business because I thought that would be a more prominent uh, career path to follow. What lessons did you learn from your first job? Well, certainly acceptance of people as far as um, not being afraid, you know, of um, injury or right. um, indifference because obviously um, if somebody does not present the way um, they would without being injured, uh, it could be scary for, or uncomfortable for some. Um, but it's just um, it's just another person, you know, just you and me, and uh, we see beyond that. Did your first job influence your future work career at all? Well, it most definitely did. I, it came Correct. back around. I did not stay in business. Right. I, I ended up getting a nursing degree. And if you could, would you do it over again? Oh, most definitely. Uh, a lot of personal gratification in this type of work. I did not get that when I was um, more or less pushing, you know, papers and taking phone calls behind the desk all day. Right. And if you could describe it in one word, what would that be? Uh, I would certainly say gratifying. Do you have any success tips for the future generation? I, I realize when I think back that uh, the volunteering meant a lot. If, if they are um, younger and they have an opportunity to um, get a set of skills before they get in, right. I think because um, I really did not have any fear when I walked in, uh, try it. Try just if you could get in and get a job and you try it um, and you try to work as hard as you can at it, um, it may work out fine and it may not but if it doesn't it's no reflection on you the person it's just that type of work is not meant to be so once again i have mrs diane bertha rehabilitation nurse and thank you so much for coming in thank you